when porting, uh, there's places where you can port, places where you can't port. I mean, you can port it in the places where you c cannot port, but you actually end up fucking up your irons and making your engine unusable. Because these are old irons, um, but still good, but old. Uh, you can clearly see all the marking where different seals pass. The inner bit here where I did very little porting, uh, this is actually the area for the oil control seals where they sweep past. Um, I tidied up here a little bit on my actual ports that are ported because um, it's a bit tight here and I mean there's a lip here which is not good for airflow. However, if you port too much and actually port into this section on your oil control, control rings, you're gonna ruin your path and you're gonna have a smoky engine because these will no longer be sealing as well and we'll be pushing oil out onto your irons and, and just mess up your engine. So just don't pour on the inside bit here. And also it doesn't actually gain that much airflow. So there's really no need to pour there. Uh, when you're porting down, um, you can pour down in stock ports, but there's a problem. Whenever you pour down stock ports, um, you actually uh, get a lot more overlap between your intake and exhaust and uh, it kills low end power, but it doesn't really give that many, that much benefits because the airflow around here is pretty small because um, the air path here is not as great as here, hence why this is actually larger than this bit. However, for my ports, I did open up here uh, to increase airflow, but it wasn't actually drastic enough to ruin anything, but it will add more of a brappy idle. And um, you can pour up, uh, porting up really has no problems. I mean, um, except that there's a water gallery right here. So you're limited on the amount you can go up because otherwise you're gonna go in your water passage and that's it, you're in your iron. Maybe you can weld it up there, but I don't know. Just don't pour up too much. Uh, you can actually put your finger in there and feel how much room there is, but you can go up quite a bit more. Uh, down here, you can pour here, but you need to be really careful. The reason why uh, you need to be careful is your corner seals and uh, your side seals. Um, from the factory, the side seals actually always remain in contact with the iron. They never actually um, go over the port and your corner seals are the same. They just go directly here. However, um, you can pour down here up to a certain amount and uh, basically what happened is a bit of your corner seal will uh, not be supported by the iron but um, if you port here a little bit or as I did uh, I have exposed these corner seals to just the port however uh, it wasn't drastic enough so it's not I'm not gonna have problems with the corner seals actually falling into the port and uh, also whenever you open up down here uh, whereas when the rotor is actually rotating, a bit of the see a side seal is actually going to be coming out. And if you do not have a sharp but smooth closing section here, what will happen is when as soon when this is spinning, it's actually going to come in contact with your iron and um, snap it off. So you need to be careful. And here, you need to make sure that you have it smooth here. So when your seal is actually coming out and going across here it's um there's a ramp bit here so it actually goes along the smooth ramp and pushes it back in like that you're not going to snap them primary ports because these are secondary ports you can port pretty much the same place as before you can port down port up port here there's quite a bit more uh area to port however keep in mind that these are primary ports so you do want to keep the low end quite good or good ish so um, if you port too big you drop uh, your air velocity through the ports when you drop your air velocity through the ports the engine becomes really bad at idling because there's lots of reversion and everything like that because bearing in mind as soon as you open up the ports too big um, you can have your intake and exhaust open at the same time so you're gonna have um, mixing of your intake and exhaust. You can have low airflow here, so it just makes it all up. On my ports, I did go quite a bit bigger than factory, but they're not drastic enough to actually 
hugely affect my idle and low RPMs, but we will see, I guess. Just as an example, or oh, here, when this is going through, it will be exposed. This isn't exactly how it goes through, but when it goes through here, all it does, it pushes it up. So this is, I'm pushing all the way down, and this is just pushed up, so there's, there's no uh, rip in it. Because if it was the factory type, right, let me just show it again. So you're going across here, blah, 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 you're spinning, and it's smooth. There's no, no nothing bad. If you do it how it was left from the factory, with a quite a sharp bit here, all what's gonna happen is, it's gonna go here, and it's gonna go, and see so you get stuck. And if that gets stuck at high RPMs, this is just gonna snap. Yeah, so for the intake, we have the primary ports and the secondary ports. They're both open at the same time, so if you go too big here, you can create overlap by gases passing through this port, and between the two chambers and uh, making it wrap and overlapping. However, um, these only get airflow going through them at high throttle openings. So as you have two throttle, uh, you have your throttle body both staged. So normally you have air going through here, and then uh, a high RPM to high throttle inputs, it goes through there. And um, so if you go too big here, you're gonna affect your low RPMs and small thro thro throttle inputs but um, obviously if you go to here you also affect your low end but not as much. Uh, I want to go big on bigger on both but I don't want to go extremely big I want to keep it a uh, extended street port like slightly past the mile but like to the big side but I don't know exactly how far to go. So I'm um, gonna start off with the Primary port, uh, primary ports. As you can see from the factory, the machining isn't even that great. This side, there's actually a bit of a where, where, a line, and it's not even straight. There's a bit actually poking out here. You can see oh, yeah. that line. Yeah. And then on this side, it's completely smooth. So it's factory ports aren't that great. So lots of people that do OEM plus. Uh, that just smooth them out and get rid of the castings because here you have sharp edges and everything they will hinder airflow which you don't want uh, however i'm going to port them a little bit for more power and hopefully a bit of breath so what i've done is pretty much marked out a constant three mil line all the way across in this corner here i'm gonna pour up to here pour up to here then look at the factory port on the other side and make sure i copy the same sort of layout here from then I can blend it in and make sure it's all good. Uh, here, I'm just gonna follow it. It's, it was pretty easy to follow the uh, content three mil here. However, here I'm not, I'm only gonna port up to here. So when I take off the tape, I will see exactly where the side seal um, path is. So I don't actually port it into there and make sure it's pretty smooth there. Uh, similar thing here, I'm just gonna pour up roughly up to here then uh, take off the masking tape and make sure I don't actually get into a sidetrack. Um, I followed it all the way along, but I, I wanna be safe. As you can see, it is a bigger port, but it's nothing extreme. I've seen much more extreme ports online and it should be a nice increase in power. Cowabunga. What's cowabunga? Got a nice curve here, kind of sharp a bit here, just like was from the factory, a nice curve here. And went in a little bit here, but not much. And um, down here from the factory, it's quite a big lip and it's all gone now. So um, of course I'll need to port, port it through here to make sure I get proper airflow and probably take out these injector seat things at the bottom. Oh yeah, that's actually coming out. Don't know if I, I might stick them back in, I don't know reading forums but yeah I need to port it here to make sure it's smooth there's proper airflow this port is done so as a comparison this versus the stock port which is this I think it's nice increasing airflow with nothing too 
drastic. Now we need to copy that to there. So porting them here is finished. Uh, they're near identical. And I think it's a pretty good job considering I have no templates, just a shitty pen, some tape and a vernier caliper. Uh, it's pretty smooth down here. Uh, it sharpens down here and there's a nice finish there, like the really good templates out there. So now um, I'm gonna port the actual intake path here. Uh, all I'm gonna do around here is open up a little bit for more volume, but not much, and just main, mainly clear the um, casting marks. However, down here, there's a huge lip that needs to be removed in order to have a uh, nice and smooth airflow. You don't want to remove too much and make it a square, but you want to remove just the sharp bit here so it's much more gradual. So yeah, um, I think it's finished. Uh, some people go further and polish up the ports further using some sandpaper stuff. However, I don't see the point in doing it because the, the air closest to the surface moves really slowly anyway. I think it's finished time for the secondary ports, but overall I'm quite happy. For the secondary ports, uh, this, you gain a lip here and a lip here as well. And it's not that great, especially on this one with some sort of line. Uh, so I don't want to go too extreme, but don't want to go too mild as well. So keeping it the same as the other ports. Uh, the plan is increase by 1.5, 1.5 mil here. Uh, this, I'm not actually going to do anything before I take the masking tape off so that I can properly um, blend it in. Here I'm going four and a half mil and here going three and a half mil. Can go a lot bigger up there, but I don't want to. I think it'd be fine like this. And here I'm just gonna go by 0.2, maybe half a mil maximum, just to get rid of that lip. So we opened the port up to the lines. Uh, gonna clean this up and clean this up to make sure that the port is completely smooth when we take the masking tape off. If it's a little bit too small, I can always go a little bit bigger, but um, we'll just see what it looks like first. Yeah, looks all right. Need, need to clean some bits up. This is the stock port for comparison. This is the mild slash big street port. I went a little bit bigger than I wanted to. And uh, the shape and the top isn't perfect. Isn't really that great, but I think it'd be okay. Maybe just a little bit more here. Yep, I mean, it's done. It's not perfect. So got to polish it up a little bit, but that's how it's staying. No need to make sure that the other port looks the same. Both the housings are done. Uh, they're actually not sure how they show up on camera, but they're really similar. Uh, I made a fuck up here where my, one of these bits flew out and then took there. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, I would sand it down down here. So it's actually smooth. There's a tiny, tiny mark. Unfortunately, it's on a path of one of the seals. But it should polish out to be fair. Can't do much about it now, <laughs> but it's not as bad as it looks. Um, I polished it up. I don't know, I actually need to finish it a little bit here because there's a small lip. This one's all good. And uh, yeah, just gonna clean them all up and start assembling the, the engine in the next video.